Today we're going to learn about Screen Chump. It's a great app for kids to use to share what they've learned with others. They can create screencast recordings to share what they've learned. This is the home screen of the Screen Chomp app. You can hit the little Screen Chomper there, watch a video and learn more about the app. Let's jump in and see how to use it. At the bottom of the screen are several different marker colors. You can select from a color palette as to whichever color you'd like, as well as the size, small, medium, or large. And just um, the kids can, can, you know, draw on them, write what they want to. Um, you can select the medium size marker and a different color and just kind of go like that. If a mistake is made and you want to erase a small part of it, there's a little eraser at the bottom right. Select it, and you can just erase in a specific location. If you would like to start over and just do the whole thing again, you can hold down this rag here, and it cleans off the entire screen. So that's one way to use it. Um, a lot of times math teachers will use this app with their kids so that they can um, create problems and teach others how to how to use the um, how to do the math problems so that's quite handy as well let's look at a different way to use it I'm hitting the um, icon in the bottom left here to bring in a background notice you can choose from a library from Dropbox um, your iPad may have some other choices or you can even select take a photo and activate the camera on your iPad in order to take a picture uh, immediately. Let's go to choose from the library and the camera roll. I'm going to select this butterfly. As you can see the butterfly is a little bit small, it's not going to fill up the whole screen, so I can touch it to move, zoom, or rotate. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to um, make it a little bit bigger there so that I can see it. I'm going to say done. Now the butterfly comes on the background. Um, you, this is. Let me just show you a science application for this. Uh, let's select um, a pen. And uh, one of the things that I, uh, I think is is pretty cool here that might be a good application would be for them to label the parts of the butterfly, for example. So they can do that. Um, pick a different color here, wing and so on. So you can see that there are a lot of applications. You could bring up pictures, maps. Um, it could be used across the curriculum. Now as the kids are doing this, they can actually re record their voices to teach others. So there's a record button here and as they're drawing they can just hit record. It times down for them and now their voices are being recorded as well. You can pause can hit record again. When they're finished, they can hit stop. If you look at the top right here, it's telling how much time has been going in the movie and it shows that the microphone is active. There's little dots running up the microphone. So I'm going to hit stop to indicate that I'm finished. And, voices are being recorded and as well. it brings it right up so that I can see if I like it or not. I have a couple different choices here. I can name it, of course, up there. If I don't like it and want to start over, I could hit this trash can, or I could select share. If I select share, it's now sending it to the Screen Chomp server, so it's going to be available for me to get a URL to share with others. You can hit this little these little page icons up here. And it tells me that the cloud is preparing my video to share. And so it is there. It will be ready to share with others so that they can see it. It says my share was successful. Okay. And it says you can touch to view it live. You can swipe to delete it from that device. So it's really up to you. Screen Chomp works just that easily. It's a great education tool to make our students creators of content, not just consumers of content. And as we know, when they are teaching and explaining, they're learning more deeply themselves.